Hi everybody, hi every spirit, welcome very much to my YouTube channel. So today Cloud Surfer here, ready to bring you a match from EGCTV's The Elite Classic. They're casting this match on Twitch as well at the weekends, and they also catch cast and play matches on Twitch every single day, so catch me live using the links in the description down below. And this is a match from a best of three between Kill Jardy in the color orange, playing as the HRE, the Holy Roman Empire, and his enemy, uh, Pepperoni One, also known as Mr. Marilyn, a fellow content creator here on YouTube, check his YouTube channel, playing as the Chinese. And this is the second match of this best of three, so if you want to know how the first one went, go check the video here on the YouTube channel. So this is a very hard matchup for our Chinese player. It's perhaps one of the toughest matchups in the game, which is Chinese against HRE, because basically HRE and China, they do similar things, but HRE do it first and do it better, and their armored units really counter the composition that the Chinese like to go to. But Chinese still has way more versatility and mobility, so they can use that to kind of perturb the HRE plan and gain advantage themselves. In terms of the map, it's good old Dry Arabia, and we have two deer packs really close to each other. Uh, actually, a second HRE. TC here will be great between two deer, no, maybe not here, but like in this zone, you know, between the deers, the stone, and the wood line. The relics are very well spread. The HRE player will have a normal time gathering those, not a very bad spawn. The Chinese player going immediately for wood, not for gold. So he will only gather gold from his mill. So that indicates to me a second TC build, right? Or early spears build? Yeah, gold being collected over there. Four villagers on wood. Scout delivering some sheep. Feels nice. Kiljardi gathering a lot of sheep and the Oaken Chapel ready to be thrown down. That's a great Oaken Chapel. That's a 10 out of 10. Gets the wood, gets the gold, gets the stone, gets the berries, gets the TC. Bro, that's a perfect Oaken Chapel spot, actually. Well done, Kiljardi. Very resourceful. And th there we go, early barracks. Oh, but I think this is too late because Kiljardi is already aging up. Maybe you you age up as well, like you don't you don't build uh, the um, the spear now, saving some food. But the thing is the gold. It's still a lot of gold missing for, for that age up. Oh, but that lumber camp is also collecting uh, generating taxes, right? So that will help. Okay, chapel being finalized, and I think that will be a second TC for sure. There we go, second TC. That will be second TC for our Chinese player as well. He's investing now heavily into spears. And the barracks will also generate gold, so yeah. All the villagers on food. Because then you have 40 from there. Perhaps 40 from there, 30 from there. That's enough. Which are you player going for that good second TC? Let's see what our Chinese player does. So, the Chinese player is now moving forward with some spears and, and that's a lot of villagers, bro. That, is that a, a forward barbican? Or is the barbican in the base? Because there is no units for the HRE player. Because if it is a barbican like right here, it's GG, right? Or like right there. That's a lot of villagers. 12 villagers going through. With 5 spears. Kilj I think Kiljardi does not know this. Scout needs to be careful. To not give it away. And it is! Oh, but the thing is, all the economy is actually here. 
So I think this will not be a great uh, perturbance for Kiljardi here. Spears taking the fire from the TC. I think no villager. Okay, now the TC is attacking the villagers. Okay, loses one vill. Nice. And the thing is, there is a second TC over there. Right, so... I think the damage will be... Mi not minimum, but it will not be maximum. The damage will not be maximum of this forward bond we can right? Because Kilcharty will just stop producing villagers from here. And will be producing villagers from here. And he will have food. He will have wood. And he will have still gold. So I think Kiljardi is pretty fine. And I think this just placed our Chinese player in a worse position. Because yeah, it's now has forward villagers. This landmark can be easily destroyed with some rams and some archers in the back. And the Barbican is not protecting his own base. Right? But let's see how this goes. These guys are way better players than me. Remember that. <laughs> I'm casting right now. Oh. Villagers looking for that second TC, and they find it, with their lives. Archer range being built. The Chinese player lost four villagers right now. Mr. Merlin on a bad spot. He has only a couple villagers on food, only five. And remember that Kiljard is on a second... Basically he's on one TC, right? Because this TC is not working. And he has four villagers idle inside. Doesn't want to lose them for Barbican fire. And this strategy will not be possible on the next patch. It's actually being cancelled, prohibited by the developers. Second arch? No, that's a barracks? Okay. Archer is now looking to catch the villagers off guard. Alright. I'm just wondering how the game will go from now. You know what I'm saying? Because I think Kiljard is in a better position, right? But this is really perturbing as well. But, but he has a lot of food here. He has a lot of food over there. Mm, this feels weird, right? For the Chinese player. But I think in such a tough matchup is actually the best course or one of the best courses to go. Because you just make the matchup not even, or you change completely what usually happens. Man at arms now being produced by our Holy Roman Empire player. They will be able to sustain fire from that outpost. And only archers here from the Chinese player. He has four spears, but they are inside doing damage. Shooting arrows from the Barbican. Beers get out. Siege engineering being researched by the Chinese player. But these men at arms and archers will, will kill that super fast. If it was here, I think that will be awesome actually. But then that second issue will always be up. Two rams being built. No Imperial Academy for the Chinese player. He wants to finish this right here, right now. It's actually a good option. Better than letting HRE running away with the game just by naturally edging up and stuff like that. Oh, that's a big army though. And the Rams are not even finished. Yeah. This will clean this and that super easy. Yep. Yeah. You should be building this... I know, because then that attacks you, right? Yeah. 
Ah, it goes wrong. The plan goes wrong for Mr. Merlin. It was a good plan, though. But it goes wrong. It backfires. He cancels the rams. Tries to run the archers into the barbican. But... It is what it is. Many arms and archers. No. Yeah. It attacks the ram. <sighs> That's tough, bro. That's tough. Outpost goes down. Archery range will go down. What we have back at home? More villagers. All in the wood and the food. First ram goes in, trying to do some damage. Oh, but there is a, a ram from the cherry player. All right, this is a very interesting feudal age, right? But this is an all in for the Chinese player. If he fails this attack, there is no much that he can do to get back in the game. He lost 11 villagers, a lot of time as well. Two rams now will take care of the barricade real quick. First DC, oh, but there is emergency repairs, remember that. Emergency repair is activated. That ram will be destroyed and I think it's GG. Kiljardi will take the game and the set. That's pretty much it. That's all she wrote. And now we can just destroy the, the main TC, right? And that's a game. A lot of floating a lot of wood. Maybe to go for some farms? Outposts. That stuff. For stone? For a second TC? A lot of wood? Offering placements, perhaps. That will be good. Good idea. Fast thinking. One. But the army is already there. Building five rams. Oh, through the back, I see. Okay, trying to kill the rams here. This was a very active game, I like that. Two rams go down, good work, great defense. Mm. 
Nice, that frame will be destroyed. Good defense from Mr. Merlin. Let's go. A new age begins, no way. Castle Age. GG gets called. Because he wanted to destroy the landmarks with those rams on the background, but there was still emergency repairs as well. Nice attempt to change up the matchup, but Mr. Merlin goes down. Guys, if you enjoyed the match, leave a like and watch more here on the channel. Satiric Cloud Surfer, surfing out.